Welcome to my uh, Let's Play of Thief to the Metal Age. This is my first LP. I decided I'd give you a little background about Thief and what it means to me. Thief is easily one of my most favorite games, quite likely in my top five. Even. Thief 2, the sequel to Thief the Dark Project, dispensed with a lot of the I guess you could say Tomb Raider-ish elements of the first game, where you, well, literally went down into tombs, fought monsters like zombies and birds and shit, and instead you, you know, went around stealing things, pretty much. I'm not sure there was, there's an overarching story, and it's a good one, it's a very good one, it's one that I love, and it's one of the reasons I love Thief. It was developed by uh, Looking Glass Studios, running up the late 90s, uh, back when games like Quake were ruling the roost as the finest examples of 3D gaming money could buy. And uh, it changed the dynamic that was created by games like Quake. Instead of going around as a die unstoppable killing machine, while the main character, Garrett, was a competent fighter, he wasn't, you know, unstoppable. And it was, in fact, kind of fragile. And I liked that. You know, he could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe combat a little bit, but, you know, the game would pretty badly punish you if you continued doing that for too terribly long. Mostly to the theme of you getting killed a lot because you're not supposed to be doing that really. Garrett's primary tool was, as you might be able to guess from the name of the game, stealth. <clears throat> he he was kinda like James Bond actually, in that he had a lot of gadgets that he used, things like flash bombs, gas mines, uh you know, simple things like lockpicks and maps were all critical to success in Thief. <clears throat> he didn't just go around, you know, breaking windows and just running into people's houses and stealing their shit. Instead, Garrett decided to take the proper route and just sneak into their house. Maybe knock out a few guards here and there where, where you know, he has to. But his main objective was don't be seen, don't be hurt, don't kill. Because killing a thief is a very bad thing. It's very loud and messy, and anybody who comes across your crime scene will notice. And that's that's another good thing about Thief, is that you know the game penalizes you for wanting murder. And if you're playing on a hard or expert difficulty, you can actually fail the whole mission for killing people. But, Thief is also one of those games that, for me anyway, no matter how many times you play it, you keep coming back. It has a lot of replay value because there's a lot of hidden stuff in the various missions. There's a lot of nostalgia there, too. I mean, for me, it was one of the first 3D games I'd ever played. I mean, I played other LGS classics like the uh, Ultima Underworld series, another series of really good games, if you ask me. But, uh... <clears throat> Thief, it's got a special place in my heart. Is that, wow, other stealth games like uh, Tenchu or Splinter Cell, well, they do incorporate a lot of stealth, and it is very useful to you. Your character can easily dispense with it. And, uh, you can't do that in the You really, really shouldn't. <laughs> because unlike Sam Fisher, Garrett doesn't have a gun. All he's got is a bow, a blackjack, and a sword, pretty much. I mean, sure, you get, you know, landmines and shit, but... 
I don't know, it's difficult to explain, really. Of course, I've probably fangasmed enough about Thief. You come to watch me play the game, not hear me babble on about it. So, uh, let's get to watching me play this thing. And, uh, probably failing pretty badly at it. 